Hey, if you clicked on this video, it's going to be probably the past broadcast of me checking out Narita Boy. Highly anticipated sort of metro... Metrovania? Metroidvania. Kind of a retro Metroidvania with an amazing soundtrack. Probably going to have copyright strikes. Hopefully not. The original soundtrack should be whitelisted on YouTube, but we always know how that goes. If you guys are coming over from the other video, thank you so much for doing that. Smash the like button. We can have a nice strong start with this game. A lot of people have been waiting for this one. Looks really, really cool. I watched some of the beta gameplay last night. There is quite a bit from what I gathered quite a bit of dialogue on the front end of this video of this game so uh obvious you know hat tip to tron there on the uh the little menu it's a retro retroid vadia that's right that's right so hopefully it's it captures clean it wouldn't let me turn on v-sync and sometimes we get like a screen tear uh when that happens let me fix the green screen there we go Old York in the early 80s. And he is he is typing. The silent eclipse, the creator has forgotten. Him has returned. Activate the Narita Boy protocol. This music's legit. At the same time, on the outskirts of Old New York. Or Old York. Disapproving Mother. Video games. Turn off that little machine and go straight to bed. Or tomorrow, I'm giving it back to your father. That's all you need to spend all day glued to a screen. Root? This art style is so cool. Okay. Narita boy. Arrival in the Digital Kingdom, Heroes Summit. Man, can you turn that off? That like vroom 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 line thing. There's got to be a way to turn that off. Hang on a second. Oh, that's so much better. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Just in time to read a boy. The flag we programmed with the call hero function gave us some wiggle room to assemble this switch and forced your entry through the segments of old code. This region is barely controlled by the hacker knots. You can travel through it with some confidence, but proceed with caution. Him and his hacker knots tirelessly running through the lines of code to try to find you. Pressing this button will open the door. Inside waiting for you is a holographic module of motherboard, protective mother of us who 
of us and all the programs in the digital kingdom. She's in the capital of the digital kingdom, sustaining the trichroma, overseeing code, closing breaches, and fixing bugs. Since the arrival of the stallions, the digital kingdom's code has been unstable. Unstable. The trichroma beam, too. Okay. Okay, it seems like it's capturing clean. The cave of the trichroma. This is a pre recorded message for the true instance digital hero, Narita Boy. I am Motherboard, supervisor program of the Digital Kingdom. I was designed line by line by the creator and my source code emanates from the architectural core of the Trichroma. Or the Trichroma. Probably Trichroma. I was one of the first sentient programs they awoke in the Digital Kingdom. If you're listening to this message, that means you've received our call and have decided to come to our aid. Welcome. What you see is the visual metaphor of the trichroma, the beam that emanates from its core and the three rays that rise up from our core kingdom's source code. Each beam has a definite function and occupies a specific region of the kingdom. Each beam is the computational entity that creates a system of programs around it. These systems are called the house, the houses of the trichroma and there are three of them just as there are three creator beams. The yellow house beam, a region of code that spans the desert simulation. The blue house beam, the regions of the eternal rains and the blue simulation. And finally, the red house beam, the most powerful and disruptive house of all. The red house beam is the powerful equilibrium that supports the trichroma architecture. But him, the supervisor program that used to manage the data dump, lost his mind and betrayed us. He craved supremacy over the red house. We defeated him, and he has expelled. He was expelled from the Red Beam along with other programs known as Stallions. But they've returned, Narita Boy, which is why we've called upon you. We need a hero who can wield the Techno Sword, the only blade forged with Trichroma Beams, able to destroy Stallion Code. You must go to the Techno Father's Castle. They are the supervisor programs who forged the Techno Sword. You must claim it from them and free us from the stallion menace that is not all we ask him has inflicted still more damage if you guys want to smash the like button it'll definitely help this video have a strong start we need about 40 more likes soundtrack's dope This is him, the sorcerer, our old supervisor brother from the House of the Red Beam. He's caused more disruption. Motherboard will explain everything. You have a holographic console with a double ensemble to contact her. Wherever you find a holographic console, you can communicate with Motherboard. What's more, the encryption is sufficiently complex to prevent him's hacker knots from being able to tap into your dialogue flow. Immense sorrow runs through my code, seeing how the first of the creator's 13 memories has been destroyed. This demolished totem gives access to the creator's memories. The creator placed them in different parts of the kingdom as a security measure. If something were to happen to the creator, the digital hero would be able to immerse himself in his memories to reactivate the digital kingdom's passive memory and thus keep the source code updated. Now we need them because him has erased the creator's memories, the 13 that make up his meta uh, neuronal network the creator can't remember the creator has forgotten that he sustains this kingdom and because he is forgetting and the equilibrium in the trichroma threatens to fail him and his stallions have once again invaded us how he managed to erase his memories we don't know it's a mystery that maybe you'll solve as you travel through them you'll be a psychonaut and a hero but remember if the creator permanently forgets the digital kingdom will be lost 
Him will control the powerful red beam, subjugating us to the darkest desires. The Trichroma will be destabilized and will be under his rule. Even if you kill thousands of stallion programs, remember that only the creator can totally eliminate the stallion code that is gradually appearing in thousands of lines of source code. You need to find the 12 remaining totems, piece together their code, and journey within them. Only by unlocking them can the creator retrieve his memory, so hurry. One last thing, son of the Trichroma, it's not possible to travel in the first memory through this broken totem, but you don't have to retrieve it. The 12 remaining memories are sufficient for the creator to remember. But you should know that there are five backup floppy disks in the digital kingdom. If you find them, you can rebuild the first totem. We will be eternally grateful to you if you manage to retrieve his first memory too. So that sounds like an optional thing you can do. The Gallery of the Cosmovisions. Dude, this game is freaking dope. Narita Boy, we have not introduced ourselves. My brother programs and I agents of the Capitol. Motherboard coded us to move to the Digital Kingdom investigating the mysteries of the Kingdom's source code. We also help any program in the Digital Kingdom adjust its code where necessary. I wanted to warn you about this simple but malicious stallion script that surges from the ground. Jump and dodge it, but don't try to destroy it. We don't know why, but this code has infinite layers of complexity that renders it indestructible. I don't know, why is it telling me to let go? That's weird. Oh, it's on a timer. I got it. I got it. Access to Baba's Cave. Ah yes, you'll need a techno key to go through the door. These monoliths are encrypted slots. Inside them is an age-old program as ancient as Motherboard. An old woman known as Baba Who, by the way, is very pleasant. All the programs of this region know her and she'll safeguard anything that is entrusted to her. Help the techno fathers and the priests of the portal. Get the techno key to visit Baba. That's what happens when you die. Okay. Super close to rolling the likes over chat. Go for it. The Techno Father's Castle. Zombie. Oh, that's how they introduce a new enemy. That's pretty dope. So it looks like we're going to have to jump over him. We don't have a weapon yet. Oh, frick. So they don't aggro. Is this game a viewer request? No, I wanted to play this. It's brand new today. Is that it? Is that the sword? What's this? Oh, I'm going in. The soundtrack is just freaking legendary. Oh, it looks like there's a secret over here. I don't think I can make that jump. So this is likely the Metroidvania coming out. Yeah, I'm going to need a double jump for that. Rest in force. Rest in force. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay.
Holy frick. Narita boy, access to the underground garden is restricted. You'll find the access techno key in the higher levels of the castle. Dude, can I get a sword? How long does that stay there? Is that how long does it stay? Oh, there we go. <gasps> cool, an elevator. Techno algorithm hall or the priest portal. Narita boy, I'm sorry not to be with you at this time. I, ju- I must sustain the harmony of the Trichroma from the capital of the Digital Kingdom, close to its core. Him is dumping petabytes of corrupt code. On a subtle level, I'm warding off his attacks. Beyond this door is the priest portal. You must cross it. It will lead you to the Church of the Strange Monolith. In this region, you'll find the new creator's memory. To reach the priest portal, you'll need an access... You'll need the techno key. The priest are prayer programs that keep the portal aligned. They entrusted the key to Baba, an ancient program slumbering near the castle. So we can't do this until we get into her area either. We pray, brother, because prayer redirects the data flow, stabilizes and synchronizes it with the trichroma. Prayer is algorithmic mysticism, ansible ansible links, chemical electrodynamics embracing the creator in a myriad of binary impulses. Okay. Yeah, you like that guy? I forget what it's called. Shrugs? Okay, yeah, maybe the algorithmic hall will help me. Welcome to Rita Boy. The Techno Sword awaits you. We forged it the day the stallions were expelled from the digital kingdom. We told ourselves that if they ever returned, we would need all the concentrated power of the Trichroma to stand up to them, and of course, a very special hero from beyond the source code to wield it. At the end of the hall, take the other elevator that will lead you up to the Techno Sword. What friggin' time. This game is really, really friggin' cool. Ultra Beam.
Press once to activate shotgun or hold to activate ultra beam. Each of these attacks needs a different number of cartridges that will recharge over time. Seems like you need all three for the beam. LB, use dodge to escape offensive attacks and use it in the air to cover more distance. Yes. Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories. Every time you release a memory, it will return to the creator. Meditate in the mist of the code and connect to the creator's oneeric flow. When you connect, the totem will open and allow you to visit the Hall of Memories. Got it. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the stream, do me a favor. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit the bell button, all those things. Son of the Trichroma, you've reached the first totem. As you know, you must penetrate the creator's memories every time you release a mem- Okay. I don't understand. Oh, you gotta do that after. I was like, I don't understand. What in the frick? Oh, it turned the CRT thing back on. It doesn't look like... When you're in the Hall of Memories, I can't turn this off, apparently. My name is Lionel Pearl Nakamura. I was born in Narita, a city located in the prefecture of Chiba in Japan. They say that the summer I came into the world was a very hot one and the sound of the cicadas particularly resonating, but I don't remember that. Nor do I remember that my father was American, uh, a Geiko Kujin, and that apparently on that day he was particularly troubled by his work. But there's one thing I do remember, an intense light and a voice emanating from it, a gentle voice that sung me a lullaby. I remember my mother among patches of color, a mosaic of shapes intoning sounds from a faraway dimension. Holy frick, look at the background. (laughs) 
Okay, that's the same. It's the same. It's the same text. I just want to see if she said something different. So they have like a delay in their attack. I got hurt quite a bit in there. Here, brother. This is the access techno key to our garden. Once in the garden, contact the quantum meditator. He has a techno key that you'll need. Take this opportunity to meditate with him. Transcending at his side and walking the paths of the trichoma in the light of his luminous code is one of the greatest experiences the digital kingdom has to offer. So I'm assuming we go back down. Through the elevator. <gasps> oh, golly. Okay. You're about to do the highest tier request to play this? Oh, I missed out. Oh, gosh. I was trying to run, but I guess that's only in the dreamland. I already am running. Oh, goodness. Oh, getting those guys in the air is tough. Seems like the best course of action to take with the bats. Rest in force. Rest in force. Seems like the best thing to do with the bats is to let them come down to you. Tried to time that, didn't work. So it seems like you kind of have to do a little bit of a roundabout with the bats. Some of these setups are kind of annoying because you have to face tank. Like there's nowhere to go. If you dodge, you're going to fall. You really need to use like jumping and dodging and stuff. Thought so far. I like it. A couple of those settings that felt like I didn't have much of a choice. Like I just had to, ouch, I just had to kind of face tank. Cause like if I would have dodged, I would have just fallen off. And like the guys on this teeny little platform is like, well, I guess I'll just take the damage, you know? There doesn't seem to be a way to heal either. Yeah, and the in-air hit detection does feel... Um, the in-air hit detection feels a little w weird on the bats. It's like, I, I feel like having to jump and swing at them, I, 
I don't know. I don't feel like that's designed well. Because they end up going beneath... They end up going beneath what I'm trying to do. And it's like, well, I mean, what do you want me to do? I can't... You know what I mean? So it seems like you have to like almost like jump over them, dodge them, and get them on a straight line on the ground, which is kind of hard to do when you have limited, you know, limited capital of floor to work with. Okay, we almost have her door open, right? We did two, we got two of the three. Oh, and that doesn't replenish your health. I thought it might have been a cheap way to replenish your health. Apparently there's an uppercut move to specifically deal with the airborne enemies. Huh. You can't shoot in the air. So maybe that's something we don't have yet. I don't think I'm supposed to be going back right now. Because her door seems to be... I think we need to go to the priest portal. Her door has got... Yeah, two of the three have been hit. Okay. So we probably need to go up and then to the priest portal. Wait. Underground garden. This is what we got the key for. So this should go down, I'm assuming. Oh, I'm liking it quite a bit, Barrier. It's good. Music's amazing. Three algorithmic altars must be activated. This triad, as powerful as the trichoma itself, will activate the transcriber of the symbols. This machine, created by the agents of the capital, allows you to transcend to other regions of the code using the power of the transcendent symbols. We call them jump patterns. Take a good look at the trichoma's fundamental symbols, this metaphoric expression of its beautiful code. There are always three, remember three, one of each beam. Okay. Sheep, uh, wait. Okay, so that's two. Can't get the bunny. Hey, we got the switch for hers. Okay. Oh, here's the... Oh! Should be number three.
select symbol confirm symbol and close Okay, blue is the three dots. Yellow is this. Man, it's so fast. I feel like I'm seeing this and this and this. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. It's blue and yellow squares, red three dots. There we go. I thought I was trying to read the symbol above him, like the, the thing that's like flashing. Feel the trichroma in every pixel of your idle state. We are nothing more than lines of etheric code in a non-space, non-time continuum. We are computation, eternal inputs and outputs, a light that goes out, a flag that activates. Here, this is the techno key that will open the entrance to Baba's cave. She's also a great meditator, as patient as time itself. She always knew you would come and has lived thousands of iterations in deep meditation. Sometimes I feel her code flowing through circadian functions. Please give her my regards. This is so freaking cool. What platform is this on? I think. Is it all platforms, Reaper? Oh, gosh. I thought it would be a little bit more popular on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe the demo was out for too long to... Maybe that hurt search search uh, algorithms. We're getting a 31% suggested, but we're not getting a lot of folks here. So it, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by that. Did it launch before today, Reaper? Is today just the PC launch?
Yeah, it is really chill, Milky. I was sure of it. Narita boy. Um, I always knew the trichroma would distill its essence in barely 20 pixels of condensed power. In the source code, I read commented lines that made me suspect that a hero would be compiled to rebalance the beams of the trichroma. Oh, it officially launched today. That's weird. And along the other programs, I've been awaiting you. They call us the Believers. But my brothers who flourished in this cave have gradually switched off. Only I, Baba, remain a program who has always awaited you. Before giving you the techno key a year after, I must ask of you a favor. Recently, since the arrival of him and his stallion forces, a suspicious portal event has appeared. Uh, can you help me investigate what it's all about maybe we'll have time to stop another outpouring of stallions in the region we must contain them at all costs oh, the artwork in this game is so dope Oh, 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 you are the digital hero. You, wait, oh. How can him be scared of a pirate no bigger than 20 pixels in size? When I'm done with you, and I bring him your techno sword, I'll sit at the table of the stallion commanders. You're going to learn the meaning of pain. I'm Lord VHS, one of the barons from the dimensions of horror. Die. It's Lord VHS! Alright, wow. Oops. Oh, he got me. So that the so the flash in the flash in is an attack. He like sets his. Oh, he does something along the ground. I think I had an iframe because of the gun, though. Got him. Yeah, I think my gun gave me iframes. He sent something along the ground, it looked like, that I wasn't ever seeing because I was going behind him. I knew it, Lord VHS, one of him's hitmen, a hybrid stallion programmed at the depths of the dimensions of horror. Thank you, Narita boy. Here's the techno key that will give you access to the priest's portal. Don't be scared to cross this portal. It will open the doors to the digital kingdom. Be strong, brother. Rest in power. Live in light. Maintain harmony. And sock it to him and his stallions. No, I've not done anything on a horse. The writing in this is surprisingly really good. It's really cool. Like, it's mysterious, and yet it still owns its identity. Like, it's really, really well done. live in the light. Oops, wrong door. I went in the wrong elevator. Oom Studios? Wait, who made this game? Who? Hang on a second. (laughs) 
Uh, developer Studio Koba, publisher Team 17. I was like, I was like, I thought maybe the developers were in chat. I was like, oh my gosh. We've had that happen before. Story is good. Combat doesn't get any more complicated. I don't know. Ne- yeah, I saw Oom Studios in chat and thought maybe it was it was somebody uh, like from the de- devs or something. I don't like, need combat in games like this to get that much more complex. I think it delivers. It delivers what it promises, you know. If it doesn't change that much, I guess the question would be, is it that much of a Metroidvania? Like, how many abilities are we going to unlock? You know what I mean? Dude, this freaking game's art style is so cool. The creator's tears. Aw, I was jamming, bro. Access to the pregnant program. Access to the abode of Master Code Shifter. Access to the Forgotten Forest in Tedis someday. Oh gosh, what is that? Stagmaster, Narita boy, welcome to the creator's tears. By axial metaphor of creation, I am the Stagmaster, supervisor program of the Forgotten Forest. The Forgotten Forest lies beyond this portal. In the heart of the Forgotten Forest, you'll find Trifurcation, the path of the three branches. Trifurcation are the access doors to the house of Trichroma. You must journey through the houses to release the creator's memories. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, explore this region and liberate the creator's memory that emerges from its code. Once you've done this, seek out Master Code Shifter. He's a wise program from the Forgotten Forest who has the ability to compile animal forms. You must cross the Forgotten Forest in the form of animal code. It's that or nothing. This orange door leads to his abode, but there are various conditions you must fulfill so as not to break the region's code. One of these is to get hold of the access techno key. Could the bells stop anytime soon? It's a bit much. We need 40 more likes to roll over on the 200 likes, guys. That'll definitely help the video. Jeepers, thank you. That was obnoxious. New ability? New ability time. Load, energetic charge. You've unlocked the Trichroma Power Bar. Charge up this bar by afflicting damage on stallions. Hold down energetic charge to trade a block of Trichromatic Power for a life. I can heal myself? Jumper. Oh gosh.
for a bar of health. Okay. The music is so good when you're fighting. Aw. Sleepy, sleepy, derpy, derps. Up. I love the subtle use of arrows when you're like, where am I supposed to go? Daddy bomb. Gosh. Oh gosh, you got me again. don't know. Wait, there's got to be a trick. Hmm. Warlock. Oh, the music was getting so dope. Die, frick. The bats are bullshit, dude. Yeah, the bats are bullshit. You can't get, you have to get close enough to hit them and then you just end up getting hurt. It's cheap. Got him.
frick's sake. Yeah, I don't like the bats. Their flight patterns suck. My swing is just super linear. And so they end up getting a lot of automatic damage on me. Because, like, I have to get... I, it's like I it's like I have to get close enough to do damage and then I get too close and I get hit. Lord Beam. Oh gosh. That's a fight him. Beta Tesseract. Am I late to the party? Yeah, no, that would yeah, we we heard we learned that on Twitter. It's like a frog. The master code shifter has modified my croaking script so I can talk to you. I'd like to take this opportunity to say croak, which means good luck, but also means yellow joy and happiness. Can you see my symbol? Find two more to transcend. A pen and paper will help you if your memory is not up to it. Okay, we just need to remember Pac-Man. Thanks, bro. Yellow Pac-Man. I don't think we've seen any other symbols. Frick out of here. Oh, I got greedy. Thank you. 
We are the priestesses of the Church of the Strange Monolith. When the priest connected with a transcendental symbol, we asked Motherboard what it meant. She explained that the Creator's Tears was opening up to the digital hero and we must come to this region. She said you would come and channel the priest's blue hexadecimal symbol. Since then, we've sustained his algorithms and his vigils are bathed in our prayers. Dope. Still. All right, three dots, got it. It's going to be process of elimination. We do not know what the red symbol is. The red symbol be that moon? You think? It was yellow Pac Man. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's the red Pac-Man because of the moon. No, it's not. Okay. Nope. Blasphemous had that Souls-esque element to it, and that's why I couldn't play it. Well, it's an eclipsed moon, so it might be this symbol. Well, there's only one left. There you go. Second memory. I remember my first visit to the temple. The crickets were announcing another hot summer. The dampness of the mildew. The solemnity of something I sensed was eternal. I remember father lost in worry and the sweat beating on his forehead. I remember the smell of my grandfather's shaving cream and my grandmother's wrinkled hands, as well as her smell of decades of love and understanding. Then I remember mother, especially mother, invoking the gods of the temple, two hands clapping, a clicking noise, and then suddenly bowing down in fear and trembling to an infinite power from beyond the temple. Oh, thank you, Snow White. I appreciate it. We've been good. We've been good. 
I've been seeing I've been seeing your posts on Instagram. I posted a couple of my own things. Hope you and uh, you and the hubs are good. Oh frick! Mother program dumping lines of code, generating scripts through the chord function, stabilized placenta compiling, harmonized amniotic fluid, zero errors found, check, process completed, new techno key found. Oh, the pregnancy techno key found, that's what we just got. Yeah, that account's gone now. Yeah, not surprising. Desperately posting lies. Everything's been screenshotted. <laughs> uh, excuse me. You got his hands on his very own PS5. Bye bye, hubby. Well, I'm sure you'll find ways to entertain yourself. You got your own games and play and things to do, I'm sure. He's not that great anyway, so... <laughs> I'm sure you could use a break. Oh, frick! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, gosh. Two of these guys. You freaking bats! Oh, I got above him. Yes, we survived. He's great. Oh, I was hoping he was here. I was I was hoping he was in chat. <laughs> He's probably setting up his PS5. I was trying to get a burn on him. This is weird. This trichroma is the genesis, the start, and the end. Its beams are the source of life and the creator who, in turn, creates the beams of the trichroma. Infinite variables in an eternal loop. I harbor the seed of the trichroma. It transcends me and the cycle begins again. We just got another key. Guys, we only need 23 likes to roll over. If you haven't hit like yet, help me out. We're t I'm hoping this can get 1k views. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't want to have to unlist this. I don't understand. What key did I get? Where have I not gone? He's watching, he's working, lurking. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I don't... It's blue. Is there somewhere back at the beginning that I couldn't go?
I am super confused. I don't remember us needing access cards anywhere beyond this point. Hit the wrong, I hit the wrong button. I hit right bumper instead of left bumper. I was thinking directionally. Are these guys going to respawn? Aha! idea what I just did. Clap, 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 clap. This reminds me of this area because it's all blue and like priestly. No, nothing. Back in here? There's nothing back here. Wait, 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 what's that? I just saw it, I just saw it. It's behind me. That's why you guys can't see it. Ah. <laughs> yes. Put it in there. Oh, golly. Frickin' frick. Beware of the water simulation. Its density could drag you into the infinite loop of degradation. Well, that sounds terrible. Oh, golly, frickin' what? Understand. Rest in force. Rest in force. What's the samurai slash? I don't get why it popped up and showed me samurai slash. Oh gosh. 
Oh, it does a thing on the ground. Okay, this is stupid. Get out of here. Mother frickin... I beat him with one health point. I have to be standing. Oh, I understand. Oh, does it do like a knockback? I don't understand what the difference is. Like, what's the point of that? Why bother telling me about that? That didn't even feel like it. It didn't feel like it helped. It felt like a giant freaking distraction. What you doing up there, dude? No key card found. Okay, I thought that was a boat, so, you know, whoever the dude in the background is, you can eat shit. your stupid little fake boat. question is, is this enough? Is Or is this what I'm even looking for? I don't feel like it matches. Oh, it does. Congratulations, you've done it. You have fulfilled all the region's conditions. You must have learned a lot in the Creator's Tears. It's a place of worship and study for programs from the Digital Kingdom. But, teachings to one side, you've come to find your animal form. The Stag Master told me all about it. While I compile your animal form, I must entrust you with a mission. There's a stallion portal forming behind my back. You don't have to be very clever to guess him's intentions. He wants to control the region and, if possible, destroy the access totem to the Creator's memories. So I suggest we get ahead of things and you cross the portal and eradicate the stallion menace. Okay! Glaucoma's abode. Blop, bloop, what are you doing here? How did you find this portal, Blop? Lord Kim will be very happy to see that the prey has come looking for its hunter. It'll be generously prop reward me, and I erase your stinking code. I'm Glaucoma, Stallion General. Prepare to die. Bloop. Cool. What the frick? You look more like an avocado. Oh, goodness, sick. I love facing the wrong way in games like this because a joystick bullshit flip.
He blocks everything. I, 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 I can't figure out how I'm supposed to do damage there. It just feels like more automatic bullshit face tank nonsense. Like, I'm just supposed to stand and get hit. I, I don't understand how I'm supposed to not get hit there. Like, jump over it and then... Okay. There's, I, I just think there's too much face tank in this game. I, I always hate games that put you on a linear face tank. It's like, let me mitigate the damage. Let me block, let me parry, let me do something. That's a split second to do what? I can't do anything! I get hit almost no matter how much I time it. This fight's bullshit. Jump and hold the wall at the top. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we can hit you while you're up there. Oh. Okay, so if he hits you... If he hits you, it, it immediately stops. That's why I was like, there's not a long enough window to do damage to him. This is the why it didn't even make any sense. That is literal bullshit, man. If there's one factor that I usually find really unappealing about games, is that games that literally do not favor the player ever like look at how stupid this bullshit fight is like you literally cannot touch him but you're supposed to hurt him like okay so how exactly did I do that did I hit him before I landed you see what I'm saying it's like this teeny little window of perfection that you're asking of the player in a game that doesn't give you movement precision to do what they're asking you to do. It's bullshit. Favor the player. Like, I know what I'm supposed to do, and you don't favor the player. You favor the game. It's just cheap. It's like, okay. Really hard mechanic to dodge a big, fat, slow-moving avocado. Ooh, okay. Neat. Got that down. Don't get stomped on. Kill his minions. And then when he does this, go up in the air. Do I wait? I don't get it. I don't get why I didn't take damage the one time. No, I don't have a downward strike. I just swing in the air. I didn't do anything specific the one time I actually damaged him. I, I don't get it. Like I said, I think there's too much face tank in this game. They basically require you to take damage. I've never liked games that do that. I should be able to mitigate all damage that comes at me. I should not have to take damage. Like, I can't see how I'm supposed to do that. Even there, it bounced me back into his arm and I took more damage. I don't get it. it doesn't make any sense. You can't shoot while you're in there either. If anybody's suggesting that, that's not possible either. Hit him when he's flashing? No, I make him flash. So it looks like you can come straight down on him, and that's the secret. That gets his arms to come back in. So it seems like you have to... 
I took damage. I don't understand. It's inconsistent. I got him once, and instead of bouncing, I just went straight down through him. There's not a downward strike in the game. Not that I can tell. I don't get this at all. And that time didn't even count. I, I don't understand. I, like, I'm taking so much damage just because I, I, there's no way to avoid it. Oh, that was a mistake. That was on me. I have no idea. It's not the little blob, it's his arms. No, I took damage again that time. I, I don't understand. I landed right in the middle. You gotta stand in front and swing. J it cancels the animation. So you think I'm supposed to hit him before he... Before they come out, then why are the when why are the walls there? You're always such a crybaby. You're a cuck. No one cares what you think. You're in my chat. No one's watching you play a video game. No, it still happened. I got him to flash before his arms came out. That's not what it is. I literally got him to flash. He flashed white before his arms came out. That's not what it is. There's nothing in the arm animations. There's nothing in the arm an animations to indicate like a window. Maybe if you... Ah, oh, frick, that was my fault. Maybe if you hit him as they're coming back in... No, I, I, it's like I take damage for hitting him. I don't, I don't understand. I told you some of the fights. I just, I feel like there's this weird face tank. It's like you have to take damage. This nothing, nothing explains the process here to not do damage. Unless I'm supposed to swing and then immediately dodge. That might give me an iframe. I honestly don't know. No, it didn't give me an iframe. I just dodged and ended up hitting his arm. Pretty sure the window is just before the arm comes out. What are you talking about? He f Were you not watching? Don't make suggestions that I've already tried. That's so irritating. He literally flashed white. Before his arms came out, Abe, did you you didn't see me try that? It didn't work. I he flat he flashed white and I hit him and it didn't count. Flash before his arm came out. I why are you? I don't understand. Are you guys behind? I literally tried that. I legit did that. He I hit him. He flashed white, and then his arms came out anyway. You guys aren't watching, apparently. You both said the same thing. I, I did it. I just stood in front of him and button mashed. Try swinging just before the arm comes out. What in the frick is happening right now? Am I in Groundhog's Day? Twice. You have to hit him twice. It's not once. It's twice. You have to hit him twice while he's getting ready for them to come out. Oh, and then he does a different attack, though. 
What the frick? Okay, 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 okay. You do a bunch of damage during the animation and then you get on the wall. He has a separate attack if you stand there, though. It worked? You guys said to hit him to before his arms came out. You didn't say to keep hitting him. I tried it the one time and it didn't work. Don't do that. Don't be condescending. Like, lamau, lamau, lamau. No, I tried it and it didn't work. Ah, I'm not close enough. There's a heart behind me. I don't know if that's supposed to be his health bar or what. So it looks like I can only fill one bar of the sword. Okay. Yeah, it's not worth trying that. You just end up taking damage no matter what. I don't know how I did it the one time and didn't take any damage. Ah, frick. You always blame the game? Fuck you. Get out of my chat. Seems like it's almost worth just button mashing. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so he does this longer now. I'm looking at chat. I can't heal on the wall. I was hoping that I could. Oh, boy! So it looks like once you get to that point, all of his stuff lasts way longer. The health bar is behind Lono. It's just like a heart. It's like a heart animation. Here, I here. I don't think I don't know if it's doing anything. I don't know if it's doing anything in relation to the fight, but I'll I'll do this so you guys can see it. You see the heart over there? I try to charge up on him. Gotta be some sort of health bar. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Shit.
Maybe it beats faster the more damage you do. Yeah, I can't quite tell. Yeah, so everything's twice now. He puts out twice as many guys, and he does twice as many things. And I think these stay out twice as long. At least it felt like it the one time. It's beating faster. Okay. I mean, I've got the rhythm down. There's just no way of knowing. Oh, it's like squirting blood now. The heart down there is. I just feel like getting another hit on him. really weird because like you guys were like hit him before and I was like I don't understand the window to hit him before didn't seem like anything because like I said I hit him the one time and then nothing happened it just didn't seem very consistent and then when I hit him twice it was like he did it and then the one time he didn't like his arms didn't even come out it was like his belly just came out I was like what the frick so I was like there's not enough window of time here to do damage to this guy I knew jumping off the walls and like in like taking damage while hitting him once could not be the right answer. I was like, there's no way that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that's a new techno key. Okay. So this guy's gonna let me go into the area now. Okay. We might be able to squeeze 1k out of this. 1k views. So we don't have to unlist it. Um, you've done it. You can now give free reign to your animal form and cross the portal of the Forgotten Forest. What the frick? No, there's not upgradable upgradable abilities. You get new abilities as you go. What the frick? How to dash? Left bumper on the controller is dash. Doesn't this look like something? See how splendid you look? The great stag is your animal form. It's a pity that we're in a hurry and I don't have time to trot alongside you through the forgotten forest. I shall take you to the waterfalls of the eternal dump, and between the rocks we shall arrive at last Lake Array, abstract waters that emanate from the underground springs of the Blue House Beam, so they say. Narita boy, it's time for you to abandon your animal form. From this region of bites onward, you can proceed as a hero. Once you cross the power-up cave, you'll be very close to the trifurcation. Trif- trifurcation. Uh, the opening of the three portals. However, you must liberate the creator's memory. It's been in our forest since before the tree scripts existed. Okay. Ah, it's gonna be almost impossible to squeeze one K out of the... 
So we're getting a new ability. Looks like a bump. Maybe for shields? Bash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulder bash. Right bumper for shoulder bash to break digital walls. Use it in the air to cover more distance. You can also use it to sh scatter enemies. So you can't double. You can't double. You can't use that and then dash. You can only use one. This is actually pretty dope. I think this was mislabeled as a Metroidvania, though. I'm not... Oh, gosh. It's weird that the, the, the rank and files have no stun. I'm a... Oh, I got stuck. Yeah, so you need it. I wasn't looking that way. I'm getting so tired of that. Come on. That's stick flick bullshit, dude. It's like you have to actively hold the direction that you're shooting because you'll flick... Your joystick flicks back into position. So, like, I'm holding left and watch what way I end up facing. <laughs> oh, it's so freaking annoying. Oh, gosh, those are spikes. Oops. When they stack up, these guys are rough because you only can stun one. I guess you have to do it earlier, yeah. Rita boy, I've run all the way from Trifurcation to warn you. Him has sent Black Rainbow, one of his most powerful generals, to destroy the creator's totem and erase the memory within it once and for all. You must stop her, but be careful. She's dangerous. She's not stallion code. Her script was weaved in the dimensions of horror. Where him, where him set up his abode after being expelled from the Digital Kingdom. Once you're done with her, follow the path, and you'll come to the Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Holy frick. You. Don't speak. I can read you. Brightness of the trichoma. I smell you. Condensed purity. Sickening. Listen, do you hear me? You're going to die. Black Rainbow. Oh my gosh! Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh, I gotta jump. So 
It's a lot of attacks to keep straight. And shooting that gun, like, puts you in, like, a weird... You, like, stun yourself or something. That lightning strike's pretty cool. Oh, gosh. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Probably have to do that a couple times. Ah! Oh, we're not close enough. Oh, gosh. Got her. That was a dope fight. That was a dope fight. That was really dope. That was really well done. I remember that day, a day that dawned immersed in happiness. I remember an intense smell of embers. My father and his American partners celebrating and sing, uh, signing of an important contract in Japan. I remember realizing that morning that perfect moments don't last forever. It was when I walked in the kitchen, looked for some iced tea, and saw Mother lying on the floor in a pool of blood and noodles. Hang on a minute. I remember playing baseball with my grandfather while my grandmother and mother prepared one of our favorite dishes. Oh, okay, that we're spo that's all that's all we're supposed to find. Was there anything this way? No. Okay. It's freaking jacked up. Game reminds you of Celeste? I never got into Celeste. I remember I watched gameplay and was just like, no thanks. Synth Sensei, son of Trichoma, you're here at last. I've composed many verses with you in mind. You've been my source of inspiration ever since I detected your arrival in the code reviews. I'm the Synth Sensei, the bard of tra uh, trifurcation. I play musical code and entertain traveling programs who pass by on their way to the opening of the three portals. They, in turn, regale me with tales of their travels. Houses and distant regions in the digital kingdom, and I synthesize it all into musical algorithms. Yo, what's good, Divided Flash? How are you? So I have become a bard, a, nar a narrator who, through music, shares the experiences of the millions of uh, portal knots who cross my path. 
When you complete your mission, I will compose the final verse, the one that tells of your deeds and victories. I hope that when this all is over, you'll sit down with me and we can play for a while while you tell me of your adventures. Together we'll rejoice in a celebration of harmonic synthesis. But now you must reach trifurcation and cross the portals of the trichoma beam. Once you've liberated the creator's memories from the three houses, come back and see me with your updated code and my techno key compiled with that new code. I'll give you access to the portal of the capital in the digital kingdom. Narita boy, you've done it. You're, you're here already. You've reached Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Below this region, the trichoma beams rise up to the surface collision. When I wrote the system architecture, the creator generated some scripts to tie together all the regions of the digital kingdom. A shortcut between houses to navigate more efficiently and dump data in a quicker and simpler way. It's an intuitive code, just how the creator likes them. Elegant yet precise. The programs of the digital kingdom use it all the time use it all the time to move around the digital kingdom. Now it's your turn. You need to penetrate the portal of the yellow house beam. King Numstring, probably. Uh, the horseman and his programs need you. They're in danger. As are the creator's memories that are resting there. Go carefully. From this point onward, things are going to get complicated. Him no longer underestimates you. You've disposed of several of his generals, and he no longer sees you as a human child dressed in a pixel costume. You're the chosen one, the bearer of the Techno Sword, son of Trichoma, liberator of the creator's memories. You are Narita Boy. We'll see each other again in the capital, your final step on the road. When you come to see me, your code will be even more powerful. Be strong, Narita Boy, because when you reach the capital, you must confront him. Arrival at the Yellow House. You were just playing the tutorial? No, I don't think so. Hey dude, the digital hero is among us. I'm Tyo Beam, one of the three legendary Trichoma dudes. I'm the protector dude of the Yellow House Beam, but against the stallions, my powers are not enough to protect the programs of my house but I can be of great help to you. If you're happy, my legendary dude code can combine with your digital hero code. That way, every time you summon me, I'll come to your help and rid you of any enemy posing a problem. Remember that to summon me, your trichoma energy must be sufficiently high to communicate with my code. If you find my room, which I have to say is very untidy, you'll discover a fraction of the backup copy of the creator's first memory. So go on, there's no time to lose. It's time to be one, Narita boy. Fusion. Tail beam wildfire yellow. When you charge up the concentration bar to the max, yellow wildfire will activate for a limited period of time. In this mode, you'll inflict a lot more damage on your enemies of the same wildfire color, but they'll also be able to inflict a lot more damage to you. I don't understand. It says to hit left on the D-pad for the Teo beam. It's not doing it. Oh, I have to have full, I understand. 
I have to have the full and I healed. That's why I couldn't do it. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I was like, what in the frick? So that's like an ult that you can use instead of healing. Okay. Narita boy, my dearest hero of the Trichroma, you're now in the house of the Yellow Beam in the vast extension of the Yellow Simulation. Remember, your mission is to liberate the creator's memories from this region, defend your brother programs and the stallion tyranny. May the Trichroma be with you. And I want to check on something because I wonder on average how much does a stream video get viewed like after I shut down? So this got 84 views after I shut down. Uh, This got 375. This got 265. Okay. It looks like most streams, Balan and even even Vanquish that were lower popular tier games got three to 400 views after I shut down. So if we could squeeze out almost 900 on this, we won't have to unlist it. It'll cruise to 1K on its own. The combat is really good in this game. They just do that thing where they don't really clue you in. So, like, the one fight with the avocado guy was really frustrating. All the rest of the fights have been really, really good. So sometimes I just think they do kind of a crappy job of, like, informing you, like, what's going on. What's going on? Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not a huge problem, but I was just checking the green screen. It acted kind of funky earlier. Okay, these guys aren't making any sense. Nothing hurts them and nothing can destroy them. Our metal sword function is dented by the dark pixels of the stallions. Our pride is also dented. We are warrior programs that swore to protect the house of the yellow beam and our king, the horseman. But nothing damages those dark programs, immersed as they are in constant evil functions. Oh my boy, do you know how much we owe this explorer who brought back a shoot of the sacred tree in the depths of the desert simulation there is a cave inside it the creator wrote the function called sacred tree in one simple line of source code we the programs of the yellow house beam make pilgrimage and pray around its sacred algorithm it inspires and immerses us in a deep connection to the source code i told the explorer to bring a cutting from the tree in case the stallions deprecate its function this cutting is commented sacred tree code with this we could regrow its code in future cycles when peace returns to the digital kingdom okay meant to do that it's the first time the music's been kind of eh oh here we go upward swing for those friggin' bats! Up and attack. Friggin' bats. But I don't understand. We just came down here to learn this? Oops. What the frick? Big Z. Oh, he got me.
Okay. I would say the combat actually gets better. Especially once you get that, that uppercut. You wouldn't think so, but that uppercut adds like a layer of verticality that like lets you do some cool like little hops. Oh, frick. So you gotta do two uppercuts. Why didn't I go as high? I, I don't understand. It must be on a cooldown. That was cheap. There was no way to do that without getting hit. Right? Watch. Why did I why did I not go the same height every time? That is some cheap nonsense. I just randomly didn't go as high. Like, okay. Come on out here, dude. I was trying to do... I was trying to do a swing. He's watching the death of his brother in a loop. He asked me to retrieve the lines of code that express this event. They were brother function programs. They shared scripts and he felt his brother was being deprecated from the code forever. We agents of the capital can offer this type of service among the trichroma programs. We're able to understand the creator's code, not in its entirety, but motherboard instructs us in our study of the sacred lines of source code. Okay. Well, that's jacked up. The alarm system has blocked the access door to the plaza. You must restart the console that manages the access permissions. The core supervisor code controlled by our king has blocked almost all permissions at the important plazas. To help you, we've hidden access techno keys to those places. You're going to have to search and sharpen your wits to find them. It's the only way to contain the invader. Symbol function room. Okay. Oh, I see. I don't understand. You need to finish them off, Narita boy. We, the programs woven in harmony within the source code, are not encoded to experience such pain. Oh. 
I get it. What? Oh, I thought the fire was going to hurt me. Ah, oh, those friggin' bats. I thought that I thought the uppercut was going to be great for them. This bat suck butt. Oh, I see. That's meant to knock me down into the fire. I get it now. Those bats are face tank bullshit. You like you they, they're just dumb. Like you're sitting there swinging at them. Red sister. How you doing? What's up? Screw you. The smallest enemies are the worst. Oh gosh. The smallest enemies are the worst, dude. Those bats are literally terrible. No! Those bats are ter- They're terrible! Why? I, I don't understand. Why does he not consistently take the same height? I'm not doing anything different. I'm doing the same thing every time. Oh my gosh. How long you hold it down. It's not a single stroke kind of a thing. Oh my word. I must have not read the full tutorial message. Uh, okay. So you can control the height of that. It's not a jump, but the longer you hold down melee, the higher he goes. Didn't know that. I was like, what the frick is going on? I thought it was just like a move that you did. Like the forward samurai slash. Like you just press the direction and he does it. The servo horse is waiting in the royal stables through this door to get there. You need the techno key, an encrypted copy of the stable key. We decided to store it securely in the temple next to the plaza. I've destroyed my screen so I don't have to see the suffering of the servo horses. I've erased my tools to capture ambient sound so I don't have to listen to the lament of the despair of their damaged code. Now I'm just waiting for the end of my own cycle to stop feeling the pain that runs through my every bite and script. Okay... Okay, that time I 100% held it down longer and it didn't work. Okay. Okay, so that door is now open. Okay. Can we go this way? No. We gotta backtrack. Oh, access to the royal stables. That's such a weird... It's super weird. I swear to you, sometimes I'm holding it in and it's just not doing it. Ouch, forgot to dodge. (laughs) 
Frickin' bats. We just need to get a checkpoint because we're super hurt. Red, Baron, and a Maggot. Oh, I only had one hit. I only had one hit point. I was like, the frick? Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Right away? Oh, you can destroy him on the bottom. Got it. Enough. Tight. So if you time, if you time the the uppercut on those planes. The techno key you're looking for is in here, but since the appearance of the stallion dragon, the king has decided that the temple should stay closed as a precaution. His highness sent a troop of soldiers with a techno key that will get you inside the temple. Okay. Yo, it's good, Geritol. Um. All right. 900 views is probably enough. This will probably be able to roll over to 1K on its own. Most of my most of my videos get at least three to four hundred so i imagine this is going to be able to get at least a hundred views uh so we won't have to unlist it um we just any any time a video falls under the 1k we just we feel like it really really hurts the channel uh so this was fun there's a couple of things with the controls about the some of the enemies and stuff that i i don't know i feel like there's a little little bit of that element of like face tank automatic damage that i'm never too fond of but i would say there's more good than bad here. I would give this probably like an 8.5 out of 10. Soundtrack, incredible. Art style, combat, all very satisfying. So I can definitely recommend this game. Just got to eat around some of the fat. The bats are a little kind of stupid in my opinion. Um, and then the avocado boss. Uh, we can we could talk about maybe how there weren't enough visual cues to figure out the fight. I mean, if I wasn't a streamer, I would have been like, I don't understand this. Because I felt like I hit him a couple of times before and it wasn't... It wasn't really registering. Um, so that is going. Uh, would you complete this game? I would complete this game if I wasn't streaming only new games. I would complete this game if the viewership would have been a lot higher. I would have been like, "Hey, let's do a part two tomorrow," since Aaron's adventure got pushed back. So tomorrow, Binding of Isaac DLC, and I don't know what else. Let me check Steam and see if anything kind of skyrocketed in interest. Um, because tomorrow is aircraft carrier survival drive by, which is a weird driving strategy racing game. Not a lot of interest there either. Uh, 
I don't think there's a lot. So we could wait for the end of today to see if anything on Steam kind of like skyrockets. Um, I, I'm not I'm not seeing anything that really had a big uptick today other than Narita Boy and I saw Black Clouds. No game requests? Oh, I think we do have a game request. Um, somebody freaking requested Valheim. I... Am I even going to be able to do anything in two hours? I may end up rejecting that request. Um, that's not that's not going to work. And then Torchwood requested something as well. I'll check the game request room. I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere in in Valheim. Um, oh, Torchwood requested Okami, so we could do Okami tomorrow. Uh, you could build a shack. Yeah, I might have to reject that. I might have to reject that one and be like, that's not going to work. It, it, there's no sense in doing a two-hour stream of Valheim um, and me achieve, like, virtually nothing. Um, so, I uh, I think this game's dope. I definitely think it's worth checking out. Soundtrack and everything, very, 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 very good. Um, so... We'll be checking out, it sounds like, Binding of Isaac DLC tomorrow along with Okami as a viewer request. And I'll let I'll let Cataclysmic know that Valheim's not going to work for a request. Thursday and Friday is going to be all Outriders. Uh, we are going to play Outriders on the main channel Thursday morning and then come over here for PC gameplay, okay? All right, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of your night. Hit like on your way out if you haven't already. Uh, We only need 50 likes to roll it over. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. Okay? See ya.